Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today in Need for Speed Unbound, we are going to be looking at the Plymouth Barracuda. We're going to do this in A class and there's also an S class build. For the A class, you will stick with the 7.2 liter V8 default engine. For the parts, you're going to use the basic induction, the Pro ECU, the Sport fuel system, the basic exhaust, the Pro Roots supercharger, Pro Nitrous, the Elite Road Suspension, Basic Brakes, Elite Grip Tires, Elite Clutch, the Sport 4-Speed Gearbox, the Elite Differential and Super Nitrous Drift and Grip. For the handling, we are at 10% grip with steering sensitivity all the way up, down forces in the middle, traction control is off, and brake tap is set for drift entry. That will give us a top speed of 166 miles per hour, a 0 to 60 of 3.8 with a quarter mile of 12 seconds but we also get 722 foot pounds of torque and 604 horsepower out of it um i have not raced this in multiplayer yet so let's go find out if it's any good or not okay so here we are in a race with two other cars the rs can be pretty good and if i remember correctly this fair lady z was definitely way underpowered so probably won't be a problem <laughs> But uh, I'm going to get the launch here and find out. Uh, so the launch, very easy to get into and maintain being in that uh, launch box. Launch box, sounds like launch box. Um, but yeah, it off the line it wasn't too bad. It looks like this RS is pulling on me a bit, which doesn't entirely surprise me. But here we go with a very nice drift into a micro drift coming around there. And we're going to drift this one too, just a little bit. And we're going to just go right on out. It'd be nice if I could catch this uh, Focus RS though. It just seems to be that much better than mine. <clears throat> Which, like I had stated, the RS can be a really good car in A-Class. So it just kind of matters what you're going up against, really. I mean, that's obvious of any race, I suppose, but... You try racing and recording and talking at the same time and trying, you know, to fill dead silence. Sometimes you say stupid stuff on accident. <laughs> oh, anyway, back to this. The car feels really good coming around the corners. Like, it drifts these things like nobody's business. Uh, that RS has really pulled away. But it looked like for a second I was starting to gain on it, but maybe I'm just seeing things. I know at the moment I'm seeing the RS. <laughs> All right. We get a little bit of air there. See if I can keep it on the road. Then we'll use our little uh, burst. And we'll come up to this last section where the RS is basically already won. But how far ahead of me is it going to finish? I don't know. Let's get down here and find out. couple seconds for sure. So what was my final time on that race with this car? It was a blistering 149.46. I'm not upset about that. I wish I would have finished faster than the Ford Focus, but 149 is not bad. So as far as I can tell, nobody has made any changes to the vehicle they were using. So the result of this one will probably be pretty similar than the la to the last one. But I guess we'll find out at the end of this race. <clears throat> Let's go get it! Go, baby, go! Don't let the focus pass. Although it's just going to sit there and, you know, draft me until it can pass. He's getting a little, little woobly wobbly there. What is it doing though? Like it, that dude's just like all over the road. Is he just trying to break my draft or what? That I'm not sure about, but I'll follow you along for now. Because at the moment, I'm keeping up with the RS pretty well. Although I lost my draft because I didn't want to go further over. Let's see, I'm going to draft him and see if I can make it around this corner pretty decently. And then boost out right into a wall. 
<clears throat> well, I'm back to drafting, and he's back to pulling because I lost too much going around that corner and bouncing off of the wall. This is pretty much the result I expected after the first race, but at least I'm closer to the RS this time than I was in the last race. And this car really does seem to handle around these corners pretty well, even when not drifting. That was an accidental drift. I did not do that on purpose. Uh, I just caught that dirt, and with it being so drifty already, it just decided to do what it was going to do. Really, I'm not upset about it so far. <clears throat> what was my time on that one? It was 126.44. So really not too bad, only two seconds slower than that focus. So here we are in the final race. I am expecting pretty much the same result as the first two races of the Focus finishing in first, me in second, and the Fair Lazy in third. Um, I'm hoping I can pull out a win just because, but let's see what happens. Get out of my way, Slowpoke. I've got to try and catch this guy, and I don't see it happen very happening very easily. I wish I had some off-road parts on this car, that would really help, but I did just manage to get close to the RS, uh, just not past the RS. <laughs> that was the car drifting on its own because that's what this thing's going to do. It is 10% grip, so it's going to drift a lot, uh, whether you intend it to or not. Hey, there's a wall there, dude. Watch out. And hopefully I can get through this section unscathed. He's making some silly mistakes right now. I think he's going to end up being okay in the end, but... I mean, as far as things go right now, there there's some silly mistakes occurring right in front of me. Let's see. Let's get around this corner. That was a beautiful drift right there. Not that it really did much for me, but it was beautiful, to say the least. That was some accidental micro drifting. <laughs> I was what well, didn't mean to quite drift as much as I did coming out of that uh, burst as I did, but you know, strange things happen sometimes. I'm not far off of this RS, so it's not like I have a horrible build and his build's that much better than mine. It's just. His is slightly better than mine, or hers, I suppose. His or hers. Or theirs, I don't know. Who knows in this day and age? Oops, I accidentally boosted normally around the corner when I tried to burst out of the corner. So that just cost me and got them a pretty decent lead over what, what it was. And I, I accidentally overdrifted that. I didn't mean to overdrift. I meant to try and maintain, and then I just lost it. But So this finish was a little worse than the last one, um, when I'm talking about time between me and the RS. Um, this one's going to be... Yeah, eight, nine, ten, yeah, so five seconds difference there. But it was mostly because of the last two turns I took um, they just kind of me I, I messed up what I meant to do <laughs> messed up what I meant to do and uh, that's what happened so now we're gonna hop in to the S class build uh, I gotta go switch over to my uh, PC for that one because it's not a cheap build uh, and we will check that out against the AI so I will be right back all right, sorry about that. So here we are with the S build. So for the engine, we are going to swap in the 8.0 liter W16, which is the Bugatti engine. For some reason, Criterion said, let's let most of the old muscle cars get the Bugatti engine. I don't know why they made that decision, but they did. So here we go. Uh, parts. It is Elite Everything with the Elite Screw Supercharger and Sport Nitrous. The Elite Road Suspension, the Basic Brakes, so this will be great for S-Class. The Sport 
neutral tires, elite clutch, the sport three-speed gearbox. My goodness. Um, the elite differential with super nitrous drift and grip. The handling is 10% drift. Steering sensitivity and downforce are all the way up. Traction control is off and drift entry is brake tap. This will give us 205 miles per hour, a 0 to 60 of 3.8, which is slow for us, and 11 second quarter mile, which is also slow for us, but we're going to get 1,225 foot-pounds of torque and 1,480 horsepower. So let's go race some AI fools and show this thing off and see what kind of times I can get on a couple of races here. All right, I'm going to get this launch on blue collar, which it's not too bad to get. But here we go with our Bugatti drift car on this race. As you can see, I am flying past all those people. The launch, not the best, but I mean, come on. That's not what we're, we're driving this car for, right? So I'm going to cut across here, see if that can't get me the lead. Uh, almost did. I at least got into second. So, like I have said before, this is a drifty car. It will want to take you everywhere. So you just got to be a little careful in your handling of it and get used to it. Um, so far, not looking great for me because I'm not in first, but that can change in a second. Trying to drive this thing while talking is not the easiest thing in the world. But I at least finally got first. Let's see if I can maintain it, though. Ooh, I got into it, but it drifted more than I wanted it to. But I managed to block out that. This, I actually have to drift that corner in this car. I never have to drift these two corners in my builds. But because they're so drifty, I have to. Um, and it's kind of funny because it's only three gears, and I haven't even gotten into the third gear yet. But I am going to hit a tree because I didn't turn enough. <laughs> so a lot of this car comes down to can you actually handle this car? And that is the biggest part of it. And because it's so slidey, I'm not used to it. But I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to do what I can to do what I can. But I got a pretty decent burst there. And I've caught up to the AI with a very good drift around that corner and now it's just a matter of passing the AI again and I got past one of them and now I just got to get past little old Medusa here who I accidentally bumped and then it messed up my dra or drift but I got around her and that is the important part that was just a beautiful drift if this was a drift event that would have been amazing but obviously this is a race event and I'm using a drift car powered by a Bugatti engine and I am getting loose all over the place but I still managed to pull out the win in like 231 232 I think it said let's see 23206 not the best time on this track about 220 is where you're aiming so this was kind of 12 seconds slow um but i'm also not used to how it handles and that has a lot to do with it too i'm gonna try a different race and see if i can maybe get some better results all right so here we are on fish hook let me Get, I don't know how I that was pure accident that I just got that launch but uh let's see how this goes if I didn't have people cutting me off and bouncing right in front of me it'd be going a lot better but I'm just gonna draft for now as long as I can and then I am going to just pounce past them and that was my bad I didn't take that quite the way I should have but that's okay so, so far, it's not too bad because this is more of a straight-up top speed race for the most part. Um, there are obviously a few curves here and there with a couple of corners. But really, it's just, you know, top speed. And for some reason, my car is just bogged at 164. I don't get it. Like, it's not climbing like it should. But I got up to 170 now because I managed to get that guy, that cop, taken out. 
and we'll go around that with some drift. This only having three gears thing is not great. <laughs> I think I might have just discovered an issue with it, with it only being 100 and, what was it, 60 or whatever in third gear. I mean, now I'm at 150 and climbing, 159 and climbing, okay, we're, we're getting up there now, but for some reason it just looked like it was stuck in that gear. Or not in that gear, but at that speed, in that gear. So I took that not quite as well as I wanted to, but I'm not surprised by that either because this thing slides so easily and it will also slide out if you've got too much speed like a normal car would. Like it behaves pretty much like you would expect the car to actually behave. Oh, that cop just screwed me up. That's what I get for trying to get the... Uh, uh, near miss bonus off of it. I mean, that was that was my stupid fault. But I'm gonna see if I can't get this gas station at least to help me out. Oh, and apparently found a gas station I didn't have unlocked in single player yet. So that's that's cool. You would think this section would be where this car would just shine because it's a little windy, but it kind of just doesn't want to cooperate. It seems like. How about this one? Can we get this one to do it? There we go. That was a pretty decent one. And it wanted to start sliding out on me there, but I didn't want it to. So here we go. I usually won't take these jumps, but I'm going to take it just for fun. Just for funsies. Let's see if I can get anywhere near the top speed, which I'm not betting with three gears. And we're going to hit 170, 180, 182. Was as high as I could get this 205 mile per hour car going down that last stop. So yeah, I it, I think it's a really good car for A+. I can't really recommend it much for S-Class. So do what you will with it. Uh, that's going to do it for me though. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Leave some comments on down below. Why don't you go ahead and smash the like button while you're at it. And I will catch you in the next one.